We are on. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank welcome, everyone. Thank you for having me. Yes, girl. So here we are with Empower Hour with Coach Lowe, you guys. What an honor to have Vanessa Sanchez here with us, you guys. So I'm really excited to tap into a little on her story and what she's doing and what she's created in her career. So welcome again. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about yourself, girl. Where did you grow up? Um, well, I actually grew up here in Sun Valley. Um, this is where I grew up. And um, throughout the years, you know, I was here for like 26 years. And then from there, I moved over to Mission Hills and then Silmar and, you know, um, Still in the San Fernando Valley. Mm, real Valley mm -hmm. girl. Real Valley Yay, girl, yeah. That's I, right. <laughs> I went to Oxnard for like two years, um, my sophomore year and uh, like the beginning of my senior year, and then I came back. Wow. So, yeah. That's amazing. Oh, Oxnard, the city of Oxnard. The city of Oxnard, yeah. Oh, real mm -hmm. different. That's like a little mission from here, right? Oh, yeah. Back then, I used to call it like farmland because <laughs> it was like nobody was out there but like a bunch of cows. I was like, what the <laughs> hell? What, what, what the hell? Where my mama, where my mama sent me? <laughs> Wait, how long were you out there? I was there for almost two years. Wow. Yeah, my mom, I had like a, a cholo boyfriend in the valley and my mom was like so threatened by the fact that I had a boyfriend that it was a, you know, a, from a gang right. and she just like picked me up and just shipped me to Oxnard. Oh my my she was not playing She games. was not. She, she like warned me like four times and I was like, eh, what's she going to do? You know, whatever. And then one day she picked me up from school and all my stuff was in the back of her truck. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, wh what? And, and it's crazy, like the respect level. You probably just you just went with it, right? Yeah, I was just like, okay. And then she did. She just dropped me off at my tia's house. Oh my god, <laughs> girl, I would have been freaking out. I, you know what? It was it, I was a little bit, but it was kind of cool because I had really good cousins that I went to go live with. Like, had it just been me by myself, right. I would have been freaking out. But right. I had my cousin Kathy and Renee, and they, we were almost about the same age. Well, me and Renee were the same age, and Kathy was a little bit younger. Right. So it was so much fun to oh. like have to be with cousins. It and, worked out. And my aunt were night shift so like we got to do whatever we wanted it was actually amazing <laughs> yeah. i love that that's amazing yeah. and then you came back out this way yeah and then i came back when she didn't like my boyfriend out there so she brings me back to the to Isn't the valley that something? i was like this lady right yeah but did you guys have like a good relationship aside from that like Ooh. growing up you and your mom no 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 it was it was, it was it was very rough yeah. it was rough but i i have now like come to the point to like I love her. I accept her. She's my mother, you right. know, and I know she was I've, through enough therapy that I've been through that I've got, I don't want to get emotional because my it's daughter's okay, going to be like, why are you crying? It's okay, no, girl. but I've gotten to learn that through therapy is that my mom did the best of her ability that she could do with what she was raised with and right. what she was taught with. So she wasn't trying to be necessarily mean. Right. She was like, that's all she, that's knew. All she knew. So now from, you know, myself, from living those experiences and going to my own therapy and dealing with what trauma I had from her childhood, right. I've, I've learned to forgive her and understand mm. the fact that she did what she had to do because it's all she knew exactly. to do. So I can't really be mad at her for right. not knowing. Right. So, oh, I love But it took that. a long time. No, of course. I hear you on that. Trust me. I, I went through a very, very similar <laughs> thing, but with my dad, you know? Okay. So it's like working on yourself and really breaking the cycles because yes. that's the beauty of it. That's that's you know? the part of uh, breaking the cycle and that's what I, I feel like I, I'm i definitely doing. It's been a struggle. I'm not the perfect mother, but I on a daily basis, I always say that is my biggest struggle is, is trying to be a good mom right. and balance everything out and, you know, trying to break the cycle and, like, right. stop and breathe and, like, before I get the chunk line, beat them. I'm like, hold <laughs> on. Let me let me talk to them and let me, let me, let me, you know... <laughs> Right. Take, a take a breather. Yeah, my son the other day told me that I was telling him to clean the bathroom. Uh -huh. He's uh, 11, right. and he said, I hate you right now. And I was like, oh, if I would have said that to my oh, mom. Girl. We lose our teeth. Yeah, and I was just like, I just had to count, and I had to breathe, and I had to pretend I was 11 years old, and I was in his little body, and I had to pretend like to go back into what he was thinking and how he was feeling. So I was like, it's okay that you're upset with me right now, but I have to teach you these things. You can't leave pee on the toilet, sweetheart. And, you know, your wife's going to yell at you when you get older, so I'm trying to prevent you from doing that. That's and beautiful. His whole change, his, it's called um, positive reinforcement, is mm. what one of my, Barbara, my therapist, taught me. Mm. And and it works. I didn't. I never knew what it was, but I, it does. It does work, and that's something that I've learned. And you know, I taught him yeah. how to clean the bathroom. I, I, if I would have done what my mom would have done, it would have been all bad. Yeah, you know, it's like you just traumatize him in that moment, right. right? And it's like you took a breather. You really put yourself in his shoes, and like 
we didn't have that we so didn't. for you to be doing that is so amazing and inspiring i'm taking notes girl girl <laughs> trust me it, it took a, it took so much out of me not to just just smack them across right, the face right. like you don't say that to your mother you right. know cabron, you yeah. know but i was just like it's gonna be worse on right. him, on me later if i do that to him mm. so i need to explain to him and teach him and let him know why yes. i need him to learn how to clean a toilet it's right. not you know it's not because i'm being mean it, and it was just his toilet him no, and his sister later. share a toilet i'm like i'm not making you clean all the other toilets in the house right. just your own pee your own toilet please <laughs> with the tone of voice and everything yeah with I, the, I had to change the tone and i had to just you know breathe right and, and, and at the end of it all he he was he was good that's amazing girl i love that so you have you have two boys right no 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 i have well i have Biolog biologically, I have four children. I have three daughters and one son. And amazing. then I have two stepchildren, which is a boy and a girl. Wow. So girl. a total of six, but like that are biologically. Are you never going to be lonely? No, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And how is it? I mean, I see you have your daughter here with you. And like you mentioned to me earlier, like she helps with your social media. Like, how did that even start? Like, how did you go about um, that? You know, she's always had a thing for videos and mm. pictures, and she's uh, she's always been my. I always say she's gonna be like a producer of a big movie because she's always she loves music. Like she's really that was that's her calling. You know, I I feel that it is right. maybe you know I I could be pushing it more on her, but yeah, she's really good with stuff, and I, you know, be. be I've grown more on social media and mm -hmm. stuff. And she's like, mom, you need to do this or, you know, this and that. And like, it takes me like maybe five to 10 minutes to do a post. It takes her like 3.1 second. That's and I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I, need that in my life. I need you in my life so bad, <laughs> you know? So she's really, really good. And, um, you know, she's going to uh, school for business finance oh, and, you know, I, I push her to, you know, do get into the media. I'm like, you're so good at it, you know? And Definitely. And to have like, that supportive parent is a game changer. So I applaud you on that, super mama. That's <laughs> I amazing. Try. <laughs> yes, girl, you're doing it. So you said you grew up out here. And when did you, because you're obviously in the beauty industry yes. and film as well, right? Right, a little bit. So when did you, like, know that that's what you wanted to do? Well, when I came, when I came back from Oxnard and then I went to um, high school, I graduated early because when I went to school in Oxnard, they had they were trying out this new program where you would have four semesters instead of two a year. Oh. So when I got back here, I was an 11th grader with senior credits. Girl, that's amazing. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? So I was like 16 and I was oh, done with school. What? I had like two more classes. So I did that and I was done with school. I was like, now what do I do with myself? You know, so then I enrolled myself into Valley College because that's where everybody was going. Yeah, and I was right. like, okay, so let's go to Valley College and take child development classes right. and so on and so forth. My mom was still really strict. Mm -hmm. So then I took as many units as I could because I'd be gone the whole day. Yes. And I was like, this is like the, this is what I'm going to do. Wow, really and I cool. went in there and it was like this big, like, you know, um, it was like stadium, like, uh, like seating. And I was like, what the heck? And I was like, I, I, can't, I could barely focus when there was 40 students. How am I going to focus when there's like 200 of us yeah. in here? So I was sitting there and it's I huge. did it for like a week and maybe like three, four days, not even the whole week. And I was like, this is not me. There's no way I'm going to learn. There's no way I, I'm not even interested. Right. So I went up to my teacher and I was like, my professor, and I was like, excuse me. I'm like, if I, if I never come back, I said, are you going to call my house? He goes, no, you're in college. Why would I call your class? Your, your home. Right. I go, oh, okay. It was, it was nice meeting you. I'm never going to see you again. <laughs> and I left my book there. And I'm like, no, wait, I might need that. So I took my book right. and I was like, okay, well, this is, this is it. This I'm going to have fun. See, and that's amazing because at a young age, like you already knew like this wasn't, this isn't yeah, for me. Yeah, I was like, I that's can't it. do this. So for those uh, four months, I pretended to go to school and I had so much fun. I went to the beach. I did everything but school. And then I would get home and then my mom would be like, I need you to do this, this, and that. I was like, I'm sorry. I have so much homework. There is no way I can do that. So I would just sit there with my book open and I was watching her do all this stuff. And I was like, no, lady, sorry, it's not happening. I have oh so much homework. God. So you I thought it was legend. like so cool for doing that. Lo and behold, they didn't tell me they were going to mail a report card. <laughs> You're kidding <laughs> no, me. No, I'm not. So they mailed a report card and it was all Fs. And then I had like, well, I don't know, 120 failed uh, absences. Oh, they even added that. Yeah. So my mom beat the living shit out of me. Oh, and I was like, oh. Okay. On top of that, you didn't do everything she told you to do because you had a homework. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, well, th- th- there went that. Well, I had m- oh, fun for like man. four months, and then I was like, okay, I need to figure this out. I need to figure out life. Like, now what am I going to do? Damn, and you were so, still 16. I was much, like, right? like 17. Right. Yeah, so I was like, so I started going through like the penny saver and like, okay, what am I going to do? And I was like, I always like hair. I've, I've always been into mm. hairdressing. So I'm going to go to a beauty school. So I called like all the schools like in the area and they were like, at the time they were like $10,000. I'm like, $10,000? Right. Like, right. how am I going to pay for that? Right. I was like, so I was calling different places and I found West Valley Occupational Center oh in Woodland God, Hills. that's right. And they said it was like $240. And I said, $240 for what? They're like, for the semester. And I'm like, Are you kidding me? No. What? Compared and I was, to the $10,000? Yes. And I was like, what's the trick? They're like, no, it's an occupational center. And if you apply for, like, financial aid and this and that, we can give you your kit. I was like, no, 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 I, I, I can pay the $242. Right, right. So I told my mom, I was like, I'm going to, so I decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to PD school. She's like, oh, you're just going to fail, just like you failed all your other stuff. Oh. And I was like, this lady. I was like, no, I'm not. And I enrolled myself in school, and I loved it oh i didn't God. miss a day like i literally loved every single day that i was in beauty school like because it was Girl, i'm gonna cry <laughs> it was like so much like interaction like i got to you know like there was an hour of like theory a day it was like, only an hour and they would teach you like the basics like you know how to keep your you know not to pass piojos around right. and you know the sanitation stuff so i was like okay this is interesting this, this is, is good. something that i want to learn and then mm-hmm. after that we just had uh doll heads and practice on each other so it was off it was all touch hands on hands on so i loved it oh my god and even just like your personality like i could see that like you you were i don't see you like sitting in a class like yeah you wanted hands on and interacting with people yeah i loved it i was like i want to try this i want to try that so i would tell like my friends and my family like come in let me do a perm on you let me do this they're like you're crazy i'm like please let me try and i mean i was always like people would walk in for like walk-ins i'm like i'd be the first one i'm like i'll do it they're like you don't even know how i'm like i'll figure it out she's in school she's gonna learn i'll that's right come on come sit in my chair (laughs) Oh and my God, that's amazing! Yeah, so I ever since then, like, I loved it. Like, so you knew in that moment, this was. I knew this, what this I'm is do. what I'm gonna do. Like, I was excited from day one till the day I graduated, and I I loved it. That's amazing. That's so inspiring. Oh my gosh, girl! And to and so you've been doing this for a while now. Yeah, right? I've, I graduated at 18 from uh, beauty school. So what is that like? When think, what did we say it was like 26 years? Lace, I've been doing it. Damn, girl, you look yeah. amazing. You. you look so good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's thank so you. cool. So you have, I mean, I saw your work and it's phenomenal. Yeah. And then you also do makeup. On right. Side of, I right? do. I do makeup as well. Like I started uh, learning um, to do makeup uh, probably about 15 years ago. Um, I started working with Jenny Rivera and um, I was part of her team. And uh, that was amazing. And uh, Jacob, rest in peace with, with Jenny as well. He mm. would teach me, you know, things because sometimes he couldn't do it. He's like, well, this is how you do this. And this is how I'm like, wow. I was like, okay. I was like, damn. He's like, you never know. There might be a day you have to do the diva's makeup. I'm like, oh, I don't know about all that. Oh, and then I ended up doing her makeup for her and stuff. So, yeah. So then from there, I grew like a lot of love for the makeup. But I can't do makeup like and people say, oh, you only do it on celebrities. I'm like, no, it takes a lot out of me to do makeup. So hair I can do with my eyes closed. Makeup is like like really like I'm painting. It's an art. So I have to be so focused and it takes a lot of my energy. So I'm like, I can't do go from hair to makeup, hair to makeup. At the salon, I can do hair all day long. Boom, 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 boom. But if you want me to do makeup, like you, you have, that's a different Vanessa. Wow, that's amazing. So you worked with Jenny and then... I see that you spend a lot of time work. That's your best friend, right? Yeah, your daughter. That's yeah, amazing. Cheekies, yeah. So you're working with friend. her as well. Yeah, I work with her. I work with Kate and Del Castillo and I stuff. I saw that. Yeah, La Reina del Sur. Sur. Yeah, like, girls, legendary. That's amazing. Yeah. And how long have you been working with her? With like, Kate, um, I've been working with Kate now probably about twelve years. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's your friend now, girl. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's my girl. That's my. my so. Girl. So how was it, like, coming up in the industry as a Latina, like, especially, like, working on celebrities? Um, it was a little tough in the beginning, I think, because, for one, I think my age, most of the uh, hairdressers and makeup artists that were, you know, coming up or around that time when and I started with celebrities was probably about 15 years ago. Mm. So there was much, it was hard to get the respect from the older mm-hmm. hairdressers and makeup artists because they were like, what does she know? She's right. only been doing it for, like, this long, and I'm like, yeah, but I, I love what I do, and I'm exactly. really, you know, like, I like, give me a chance. Right. So it took a long time for the industry people to mm-hmm. give me a chance, you know, and it's a very s- tight circle, so whenever they bring someone new in, they're like, 
from the publicists to the managers to the assistant managers, uh, they all like are like have their guards up, and right. I'm like, hey, like I'm not, you know, what you guys think I am. Like right. I'm just really here to work. Yeah. I really like love what I do. Like show my art. Yeah. So that was a, it. Was a little tough to break through, but once I broke through, and they're like, okay, she's here to stay. And then like, I mean, I, I don't mean to sound like cocky or anything but I started right with the top I started with Jen so it was like she she likes me so everybody else you guys have to like me I'm I'm sorry deal with it she (laughs) likes me so I mean you guys are you guys are screwed I love that that's amazing yeah because I mean I know like the industry could be really cutthroat too Mm -hmm. you know so it was really just coming in and showing your art and like I know like the criticism and all of that right? right so like how did you take all that in like um, I, I, I'm a very strong person. I mean, don't get I me mean, wrong. I do. I did break down a few times with, um, certain situations that did happen. But, right. um, like I said, I had Jenny that loved me and she had my back and she was it. just like, you know, you guys are going to respect her. Right. Like, this is like, she may be young, but she knows what she's doing. And I like how she does my hair and that's, right. that's it. Oh my God. I you know? That. So, cause she had a hairdresser that she had for a long time prior to me so everybody was used to that person Mm. and you know there was a reason why she got rid of that person and she brought me in right and they were you know the like I said the team and different people were kind of like what the heck where's the other person I'm like I don't know I just I just came in like I this is who I am and like coming in so young too like you're saying you know like the industry we've been like you're stepping on their toes right for you to come in and just stick to the plan and just show your work like that's amazing that's really inspiring yeah, so that's that awesome. was, it was good. I mean, like I said, I was so I was so fortunate to have been able to work with her. I'm a very strong person. Like, right. I was very close to her. Right. And then going back to mama, I know it's like this topic, right? Yeah. But what does she say now? Oh, my mom now. She's so... She's so proud and she's so, um, you know, I've taught her a lot Mm -hmm. along the way. Like, hey, mom, like this is, you know, things, you know, I still sometimes I have a short fuse with her. But now I've learned like it was actually just what, two weeks ago she was over the house and um, she uh, I asked her to get in the pool. And she was like, I know, you know, she's like, no puedo meter, es que, que I feel like fuzzy. And I'm like. What do you mean you feel fuzzy? Right. What's wrong with you? Get in the pool. Right. And then she's like, I, I'm, the water it gets me fuzzy in my vision. And I was like, how old are you? I'm like, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm still being like, she's like, I'm 79. Mm. And I was like, oh. and that day I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you're 79. Like, it just, in my head and the way she looks, I would say she's 60 to 65. Right. You know? And, and I was like, oh, no, V. Like, you, you need to, like spend some time with her and you need to like let Ooh. that go because mm. she's you know she's 79 even though she looks great but then when I saw her walking the way she walked and I said oh, oh wow it you know it, it was an eye opener for me and I was like okay I need to I need to let some time yeah some time, time with her. her it's interesting you say that too because it's like time just be going and then yeah. little moments like that make you realize like damn like my parents are getting older like, yeah and even though there's there might be tension or right. like resentments there like it's so important to work through that because you know time just be flying oh right? yeah we're all busy we have you know yes. stuff going on and then you don't realize like you know two three years go by but that's a lot in that in their age group yes. you know what i mean for us it's like it's like we're still like younger but them like it's decreasing like right. fast you know and right. i was like oh my gosh i was like jesus i'm like okay it was you know, a moment it was a moment i was like oh my god so now i don't send her a voicemail and i pick up her call oh. you know i was like okay she's and you know they, she always calls like at the wrong time i'm like okay hold on mom I'm like i i'm really busy but like what is it that you need she's like oh i just got to see what you're doing I was oh like, my god but then i'm like so you know cute. what there might be a time when she's not gonna call to see what i'm doing so it's like let me take the time take the and time. like take her call you know and, and then the beauty too is like you work for yourself pretty much right, right? like on your own time mm. so you can definitely put in that time like right move your your time around to spend that time with her right right yeah, but she'll like right now, like she'll probably be calling on, on the phone right now, yeah. and then she'll be mad because I didn't answer. I'm like, mom, I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. But she's gotten better too to learn to respect my time right, as well. You know, right? Oh my god, mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. I love the the vulnerability and you being so open because I feel like a lot of people go through this, especially now, like with their parents. You know, right. like we were just talking about this earlier, right? <laughs> so, oh my god, I love it. Okay, and then. Let's talk a little bit more like your, maybe like your first accomplishment, probably working with Jenny, right? Like, when did you know, like, this is it, like, this is my breakthrough? Um, yeah, probably uh, 
the first time that I did um, a, a cover of a magazine, which magazines are not like as popular as they used to be, but back then, if you d- got oh. to do a cover of a magazine, what? it was like, like huge, right? <laughs> huge. And and so um, Jenny calls me one day and she's like, "Hey, are you busy?" And I was like, "Well, not not really, but like, what's going on?" She's like, "Do you think you can be at my house in like maybe like an hour? I need to do my hair um, for a photo shoot." And I was like, "Oh." okay, yeah, for a photo shoot? She's like, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go over. So I canceled my day, and I was like, so I just packed up my stuff. Right. And I get to her house, and there's, like, this full-blown fucking production. And I'm like, what the <laughs> oh hell's God. going on? What the hell's going it on? Real. And there was, like, big old trucks and, and like, cameras and guys and, like, t- all this stuff taped off. And I'm right. like, <laughs> like, like what, what is going on? What's going on? So I get there, and she's like, hey, girl, what are you doing? And she's real chill, and I was like, nothing. I just came in with my little suitcase, like, what's mm-hmm. going on? She goes, oh, she was just set up right there by the bar area. Wow. Um, I'm like, oh, okay, so what, what are we doing? She's like, it's just a cover of People magazine. Mm-hmm. I said, the who? The what? The cover of the magazine? Oh, my God. She goes, yeah, why? What's the difference? I'm like, I, I mean, I don't know. I just, I just, I wish I would have, like, kind of been prepared, like, the night before. She's like, mm-hmm. for what? I love fine. that that attitude though. You see, like everything's cool, everything's gonna work out, and I'm sure like you you picked up on that type of energy. Yeah, like, and I was too, like kind of like whoa, you know. And then uh, wow. I was like okay, and so then they they come and they give me like they already had a vision board. This had been scheduled for like months. <laughs> oh I mean, they didn't decide to do this a night before. You were like, really on call. And I was like oh, so they give me a whole <laughs> mood board, and I'm all whoa. I was like okay. Yeah, I could do that. I've never done that style. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I, I was like, okay. Ooh. I was like, there was stuff that I hadn't done. And I was like, wait, how am I going to do that one before this one? Because then if I do that one, I have to wet, wet her hair. So I was like, hold on. I'm like, we have to shoot this before I shoot this. They're like, why? I said, because I can't, if her hair looks like that, I can't make it look like this after. Because it's going to take like two hours because right. I have to wash it. And they're like, oh, we didn't know that. I'm like, well, of course you didn't know that. You guys just put a freaking mood board together. Put but like, together. you know, <laughs> so then we had to like move stuff around and stuff like that. And then. She goes, see, you got it. You know what's up. And I was like. Ugh. It's like you just took the lead right there. Yeah, I took the lead. And I, I was like, that. okay, this is what we're going to do. And then um, we did it. And it came out amazing. And mm. when that actual first magazine came out, I was like, Girl. wow, this is. This, this is real. This is real. Pinch me. Yeah, I was like, oh, my God, that's my name. That's my work. And, it, you know, they put your name on there. Stuff. Like I said, now they're not. It's not that big of a deal because everything's through social media, right? right. But back then it was, it was a big deal. So do you feel like it's a lot more simple now? With social media? Like um, to, like, I, know, your- I think it's just, there's just so much going out every day. So it's like, yeah, you did this person, you did that person, but you do, may do them today and you don't do them tomorrow type mm. of thing. So I feel like back then it was a little bit more of a momentum. It was more uh, like impresionante. Like it was yeah. like, oh, wow. Like you, you physically are holding a, a magazine as opposed to like your Flipping through swiping. Your phone, swiping through a phone. I feel that. So I, I think that, that was kind of like, I'm glad I got to experience that era yes. in my career. Yes, I love that. Girl, I was over there putting change together by magazines. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, so it's like, I, I get it. Like, that's huge. What an accomplishment. Yeah. So that that was really cool to be able to do. Um, and then after that, I did a, co- a couple covers with her. I did some with Cheekies and then I did some with Kate. So I wow. got to do. The fact that I actually have physical paper yes. covers that I did, like that to me is like something that I, I, I'm so. Like, oh yeah, girl, proud. you gotta frame those. Yeah, right? and I have them like signed by them and stuff, still by Jenny. Yeah, oh, I love that. That's so special. So those are things that I really like. I, I feel like that's when I, when that happened, I felt like okay, I, I think I made it. Like yeah, you know? this is it. That's amazing. So how did you go about your career? Like you already had. Your I already had my salon. Um, right. when I met Jen, okay. I had already had my salon. And, um, yeah, she called me up, um, and she was just like, hey, you know, did you ever take the, that uh, an extension course? And I was like, yeah, I did. She's like, well, I want you to do my hair. And I was like, what? And I was like, okay. And I really didn't think that she was going to come through. I don't know why. I just, yeah. I just thought, I don't know. I just thought it was, like, not too good to be true, but I just, I don't know. I just was... It was just really something that I was like, is it really going to happen? Yeah. And then she did. She had her assistant drop off the color samples. And then she wow. was like an hour and a half late to her actual appointment. But I was like, hey, are you still coming? She's Celebrity like, yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, she's like, I'm on my way and stuff. So it was, it, was really, it was really cool. Like, it was a really cool experience. And I thought the day that I did her hair that I was only going to do it for like an extension job, which was going to be like two, three hours. And right. it turns out she needed everything done like to take them out to do her color to do her highlights it was an eight hour appointment 
wow, she really trusted you. Yeah. Though. That's amazing. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, my. I was like, you need everything done. She's like, I know. I was like, oh, okay. She well, I'm glad you what she wanted. And I was like, I'm glad you know. Right. <laughs> you think you could have told me? <laughs> so, yeah, it was pretty cool. And you already had your kids at this time. Right? Yeah, I already had all of them except um, my son. My son wasn't born yet. I actually, um, she got to meet my son, but shortly after she, she was born, she, she left. Because he was born in June, and she left in December. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. And how was that, like, building your business around your children? Um, it was, you know, luckily, it was, it was pretty good because I, um, I always had supportive husbands in the, in the, in the picture. Um, they that. knew that I loved my career in the salon and, you know, my first husband, um, helped build it and oh, was wow. always very, uh, it was a, like a block or two from our house. So he knew I was always at the shop and, right. you know, he would take care of the girls and, you know, it was, it was something that they knew they always allowed me to like grow in that industry because right. they knew it was, it was my passion mm, see that's so important yeah. you can't settle for anything less than yeah, that ladies so that, please don't yeah please don't <laughs> like you have to have somebody that like you know loves you and like is willing to like let you grow and be right. supportive because if if i didn't have the support of you know husbands or my in-laws right. at the you know i've had great in-laws you know it's i've amazing. been married three times so you know i, I like live your life I, I love them all they yes. all have been very supportive in my life all my in-laws all my exes you know and i i know that i wouldn't be able to have accomplished half the things i have if it wasn't for having great partners that's amazing so you like have had a good relationship with all of them to this day girl that's that's rare yeah <laughs> it's, it's days, you know. yeah no i well, i was married um to their dad for mm -hmm. um i was with them since i was 16 no, like 17 and then um you know we, we separated when i was like 28 mm. and then but you know we grew up together yeah. i was, was tripping out the other day i was like oh my god i've known your dad for 30 years that's amazing you know friends at this point yeah right? so it's just it's it's and he's remarried i i get along great with his wife and you know we co-parent i mean it wasn't always like that it was a little rocky yeah. you know a couple of some years but at the all at the end of all those years i still had love for him like i'm like i I, I'm sorry that I'm like a little crazy sometimes, right. but like I wish you. So like, Latina in us. Yeah, it's okay. still Latina in us, but I, I always would want, I want the best for him and, and for all of my exes. I, I don't know what it's like to hate an ex. Right. I don't. Oh, that's amazing. And it's like when you're going to co parents, like this person's going to be in your life forever. For the rest of your life. So what's the point of beefing it? Yeah, there's like, no point. Like fighting for the kids. I want the kids. You want to take them. It's fine. <laughs> why am I going to fight you for your kids? I think that's the craziest thing ever when they fight for the kids. Like, why are you fighting for to keep them from one parent to the other like no. if they want to let them go yeah like what's this girl go get your nails done why right. are you taking the kids i mean you want to go and like i just can't i just to me no, it's just I like i that. cannot use the kids as ammunition like and i just feel like also it's like i don't know when i hear about these like type of arguments it's like the kids kids are so smart you know they pick up on energy they feel these things like you're traumatizing your kids like yeah. just let them go you know let them go with the parent like, yeah if okay. they're not being in danger like right. it's different if they're in danger of course you know that's completely different but right. if they're just you're just mad because he has a new girlfriend or vice versa like come on like ego it's, it's like don't ego do that stuff. yeah no i feel that wow okay ladies y'all heard that <laughs> just keep it cool just yeah keep it's, it cool keep, keep it, it cool. cordial right yeah it's so it's life is just so much better that way exactly you know. I love that. That's amazing. Wow, girl, you're doing it. Yeah. Mo super mom. <laughs> try. Right? Well, I try. It's, it's yeah. a struggle, but I try. So how old is your youngest? My youngest, he's 11. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's you're 11. done. That's I'm it. Do oh, yeah, I'm so done. So, <laughs> so done. My husband now, he wanted us to have a baby. I was like, no. Mm. Like, there's, I'm like, we have enough to go around. We right. could have a freaking football team. <laughs> Stop. No. I'm like, we are good. We're and good. And then you had you have both boys, girls. girls like, I have beautiful. everything. I'm like, yeah. I have a whole litter. I am like, I don't need anything more. I I wouldn't know what it's like not to like I have boys, I have girls, I have everything. Yeah. I, you know, that have good. all different personalities. So there's no oh, like my God. you know. I can't even imagine, girl. I have one and I'm just like, that's my mini. Like I can't even imagine another one. Yeah. But anywho, so tell me a little bit more. I saw you also have um, CBD. Yes, Ooh, yes. I talk to me about that. So yeah, I have my CBD line. I started it. Um, it's going to be four years, um, right, Lace? Four? Something? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be four years. I, I believe this is going to be, yeah, it's going to be four years. 
yeah, this year. It's going to be four years. It's oh. just time just goes by so fast. Oh, girl, it's flying. <laughs> so we, um, it started because um, about six years ago, I got diagnosed with a severe case of TMJ. And for people that don't know what that is, it's like uh, it's a trouble in my jawline. Mm. So it um, has to do with, the, with our muscles here. So when I would get stressed out or have anxiety, it would just right. all tense up, and I couldn't even speak. Like, oh literally, it was like the cat caught my tongue. Like, I, all my muscles here retract back, and I would be talking right now, and I'd be slur- literally talking like this. I would be slurring. So you would think that I was either drunk or there was something I was impaired in some way. What you on? You know, exactly. It was like I was on something. And it was just the stress and the anxiety. So I went to my MD, um, and he did, like, everything. Like, he gave me cortisone shots, every mm. muscle relaxer you can think of. I did ult- uh, ultrasounds. Uh, uh, they did, like I said, the cortisone shots. They put me in MRIs, CAT scans. And there was nothing that would help me. It was just such a severe pain. And, and it was painful. It was that. painful. It was so bad. It was just like it would go from my jaw up to my temple. It was just mm. this a massive pain where I was doing my client's hair, and I couldn't even talk to them because I was mm. like, just shut up. I was so irritable because I couldn't speak, and I just was like, it was just, I was just all bad. Do you feel like you had to, like, explain to them at some I point? Sometimes I had to, and then, like, they would talk, and I was just, you know, it's like, imagine being in pain and someone's trying yeah. to talk to you. You're like, just hush. Just yeah. sh- let me just do, let me let just, me just do, do your hair. hair. That's it. So, um, I, mm. one of my sister-in-laws was like, you should try CBD, you know, and Chiki's too. She's like, oh, you should try CBD. I'm like, and I'm like, because I can't do smoke weed. Like, it gives me, like, the worst paranoia mm. in the entire world. Especially nowadays. I don't know what they add Yeah, so, it. like, ev- everyone's like, just smoke. I was like, so I tried smoking. And I was like, oh, my God, this is, like, the craziest thing ever. Like, I, I wish I could smoke and get relaxed. I get, I get, I smoke and I get, like, super yeah, freaked like out, paranoid. It gets worse. Oh, my God, so I was so girl. scared to even try the CBD. Because I was like, if I get like a bad high or a bad trip, I'm like, it's not even worth it. It's done. I'm done. (laughs) So um, I wasn't, I was at the salon and my sister-in-law had bought me these drops and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take them like F it. Like I just need to like, I'm in so much pain. So I still remember the day I took them. It was like, God like saved me. Like I literally (sighs) took the drops and instantly in five minutes, the pain was gone. And it was like, Vanessa's back. I was like, what the hell? Like, How long did you deal with that? Like two, three years. No. And it, oh would, it, would, it would fluctuate from my stress level. Like if I was more stressed out, it was worse. If I was mildly, it right. was mild. If I was like drunk, I wouldn't feel anything, you know? So like, it, it was there, it was but there. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. So I started taking the CBD and I was like, what the heck? This is so crazy. And it just, it just helped me in a manner that was unexplainable. Oh I couldn't believe it. And um, so I took it and it would last and you know, I started taking it. It would last me anywhere between four to six hours. And then I would have to take more. So then I was like, oh, my God, well, I've never like tried this. So I took it to my doctor, to right. my M- MD, Dr. Clairefield. I was like, so this is what I've been taking. I'm like, because all those narcotics you gave me, they put me to sleep. I feel groggy. They make mm. me sick to my stomach. I'm like, th- like, I feel horrible. Right. I'm like, I'm taking this. Is, can this harm me in right. any way? Because it's it's really working for me. <sighs> And he read it, everything and ingredients in it. He goes, there's nothing in here that will harm you at all. That's a good doctor. Yeah. Because let me tell you guys, there's a lot of doctors out there. Like, they want you to stay on right. their medication. So they're going to tell you all this natural stuff is wrong. Right. And it was what worked for you. Yeah, it worked for me. So then I started to get really into it because I'm like, I have to tell more people about this. Like, it really works with inflammation. Yes. And it, what it was, it was that everything was inflamed. And so this is a natural, it's basically like a natural um, ibuprofen. If that makes sense, so it's right. it is that comes from the weed plant, right. but they extract the crystals that make you high, and it only gives you the benefits of mm. the soothing part. And so of you're the, not you're not getting high. No, you're not getting high that. at all. So um, I started to learn more about it, and I got really into it, and I was like, I need to start my own company. Like I have to like put this out Amazing. there. And then from there, we started doing like pain drill rollers. I started including arnica in it, mm. um, different uh, stuff, to, so a, a topical. So right. not only are you taking it, but putting it topically, man, I'm in heaven. Like I'm Girl. speaking like nothing. So you you have both. You have like drops. Mm-hmm. And I have drops. I have mm-hmm. gummies. I have rollers, um, arnica, and now we started uh, shampoo. Mm. Mm. And hair products because That's I noticed amazing. my hair was growing. What? I was like, cut that. How's my hair growing? I'm like, the only thing I've been doing different is my CBD. See, and I love that because there's like so many companies and different things out there. But when there's a story like this, yeah, behind there's it, a like story. A real be- testimony, like, 
I want it, girl. Yeah. I want it all. Yeah, no, it's Send true. Send me the link. <laughs> yeah, no, the thing is, I was going to bring you something. I totally forgot. Actually, I think I might have some in the car. Um, but, um, yeah, that's the thing. Like, there is a story behind my my brand. And and it's, and it's not, like, it's not bullshit. It's it's exactly. the truth. And, like, a, a lot of my clients knew about it. My, my kids, my family, they right. knew, like, hey, like, she's better now. Like, right. she can talk. And don't get me wrong. Like, sometimes, like, I won't take it or I'm just, like, busy or whatever it is. And then I'm like... My husband and my kids are like, where's your CBD? Where's the roller? Because they, they see me start to, to you know. You start to, to feel it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Girl, yeah. That's amazing. That's so powerful. So, it, and it's all natural. Um, I get all my stuff from Oregon. Okay. Um, so, I tried different CBDs. When, oh, so went back to when I tried the CBD, I was like, well, I was like, I have addictive personality. So, I was like, oh, my God, I want to try all the CBD there is out there. <laughs> so, I was like going to every smoke shop there was. I was like, do you have CBD? So, this one had like pink lemonade and this one was blueberry and then there was this. And the, oh, I, mean, I was trying them all. Girl, and I, I was it. like, oh, this one sucks. Oh, this one's good. This, and so, I always went back to the original one that I tried, mm. which was the best one. So I ended up contacting the company that um, mm. that the, that, made that, that, that made that one, and I talked to them probably about a year, and then I was like, hey, I want to develop up my own product. I want to do this with you guys and this and that. So we had a meeting. I had never met anybody on the internet before. <gasps> met her on the internet. Zoom we live? Talked, no, we. I flew out to Oregon to meet her. Oh wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So went out to the farm. Um, we went out there, and she took a chance with me, and I took a chance with her because like. Um, like her minimums to start a CBD company was like two hundred thousand mm. dollars. I was like, "What?" I was like, "Girl, you're crazy!" <laughs> right? And she was like, "That's our minimums, like because it's such a large investment, right. you know this and that." And I was like, "Well, I got fifty. What you, get, what you gonna do with fifty? What can you do for me?" <laughs> yeah. So she was like, "Well, why don't we meet like halfway?" And I was like, "So I was like, I was so scared to take that chance." But he said, like, "What are you scared? Like you believe in the product?" I'm like, "I do, but it's like," it's right there. I was like, "You know what?" You're right. Fuck it. Let's do this. And I did it. And she took a chance with me and I took a chance with her. And we ended That's up being like, amazing. we're like really, really good friends. See and the power of, of taking risks, you taking know, taking risks. Like and then from there we started product development. I'm like, I want to do, I want to change it. I want to make the flavor like this. And I want to do, she was sky's the limit. And so we went to the lab and we were trying different things. And I mean, we were really hands on. Yeah, I'm hands on. I yeah, love that. I have to try everything. That's why every time we come out with a product, it takes so long because I have to try it for a good, like, solid three to six months. Unless, yeah. like, I've already been, like, kind of playing with it for a while. But I'm like, I can't put something out there that I don't believe in. There's exactly. no way. I'm not going to. I can't sell myself out like that. There's right. Just, I can't do it. Right. I just, there's no way. That's huge. And that's why I know you're going to have a lot of success with that more than mm-hmm. what you're already having because of the story, the passion. And like you said, like, you're a walking testimony. Yeah. Oh, that's for sure. Girl. Okay. So what's the Instagram page to, to um, that it's, one? The Instagram is uh, VSCBD. Okay, VSCBD, you guys, check them out, mm-hmm. follow, try it out, support the movement. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. And then you also have your hair salon, right? Yeah, Prime I have my hair, hair salon. Prime and that's hair. the one you, have you had that one for yeah, a while? Yeah, I've had that one for 24 years. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, amazing. I've had it for 24 years. And I, that's out in Granada, right? Granada Hills. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Prime hair, you guys, mm-hmm. check her out. I'm sure mm-hmm. we have to set up an appointment yes, with our girl. Sure. She's busy. <laughs> Amazing. And then your page. Your page is at um, Hair by Vanessa Sanchez, yeah, right? Yeah, Hair by Vanessa Sanchez. Amazing. This is so good, you guys. Thank you so yeah. much, girl, right. for hopping on. I can just keep this going. <laughs> this is really inspiring, and I hope to have you back on oh, the yeah, show again. Oh, yeah, anytime. I, I had a really good time. Yeah. Anytime. We're, sh- bring La Reina del Sur while you're at it. Right? And <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I told her we're, we're going to go to dinner right now, and I told her, because there was somebody else that asked us to go on a podcast. She's like, oh, you're going to go? She was that the one they told us to go on? I go, no, no, no. It's, this is a totally different one. I met the guy at the shrimp truck place, and this and that. She was like, you went, what? <laughs> That's what he told me, too. I was like, wait, where? Tiburon, where? Yeah, Tiburon. <laughs> I love that place. I know my daughter's like, where are you going, Mom? I met him at the strip place. She's like, okay. I love yeah. it. Well, here we are, you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, girl. Thank you for Let's having keep me. this going, of course. And thank you guys for tuning mm-hmm. in. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That was so fun.